Okay everyone, welcome to my first podcast show on this channel and a podcast that I've been wanting to do for a long time since last year. So welcome to Sonic Saturdays, I'm your host Stanford and every Saturday we'll be talking about everything all Sonic, including characters, the movie, the games, the lore, everything. But today we're starting off episode 1 with breaking news that former voice actor for Sonic Hedgehog, John Roger Craig Smith will not be voicing Sonic anymore, unfortunately, after 10 years. Now, Roger was probably one of my favourite voice actors to play for Sonic, and to see him go after 10 years is quite unfortunate, so I wish him well all the way, but this is quite sad for many people who did like Roger's performance in Sonic, uh, including from the TV shows and the games that he did. But we're going to be talking about that today, so we're going to go all the way back to 2010 when he played Sonic for the first time in the Nintendo Wii game Sonic Colors. Now, necessarily I have not played Colors and I wasn't really like playing Sonic games then, but basically Colors did not start off well, I've heard. I mean, from not playing it, but seeing the graphics for the first time, I thought it was really cool to watch. I've seen other YouTubers play it, but the game did not start off well, but that was the start of Roger's performance, and everyone since Jason Griffith, I hope I got that name right, started off really well, and then it followed up another year in 2011 when Sonic Generations came out, and that was the first Sonic game I played since Sonic Unleashed. And Sonic Generations was about... Uh, Sonic and his friends. His friends got kidnapped, but at the same time, uh, Classic Sonic is there with Classic Tails, and then you got Modern Sonic and Modern Tails, and they work together to try and free the friends. Uh, at the same time, as like basically at the same, I don't know, preferences, Eggman and this other enemy. So they have to face them at the same time as uh, basically helping the friends. Now this is my first podcast, so if I get things wrong, I am stuttering a bit, but it's just like I have not got scripts today, but I'm just going up with the facts that I know. Uh, so then I think 2012, Roger got his first uh, appearance of Sonic in the movie Wreck-It Ralph. And uh, he only had a couple of lines in that, which basically stated that Ralph had to stay in the game or if you lose all your lives, you're out of the game, you're like basically dead. Um, so that was the only appearance that we had from him. And then 2014 came along and we basically had Sonic Boom, which lasted for two seasons and about three years time span. Um, but Roger played Sonic again. Uh, it aired on Cartoon Network. I watched the full two seasons and all that. It got cancelled after the second season, but I would not oppose if they made a third season. I don't think it was the strongest show that uh, Sega made, uh, but it was a show that was loved by many that watched the show, and having Roger's performance in that was actually something special. And then came along, I think it was 2017, uh, Sonic Forces came out, and Sonic Forces had one of those side 50-50. I mean, it wasn't the first Sonic game that you could have your own custom character, but they say the game was weak, and I personally played it. I thought it was alright. It wasn't the strongest game like Colors. Uh, it was something different. I think the character customization for your own, like you can be whatever animal you want, and you can customize the colors and the accessories and the uh, weapon slots you can have. That I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but it wasn't one of the strongest games. But that was the last time we saw um, Roger as physical Sonic in a video game. Uh, because then he came back as Sonic again in Wreck-It Ralph 2, or if you want to call it Ralph Breaks the Internet. Um, more lines than he had in the first movie, where he mentions about like dying in the game and all that, outside your game. But in the second movie, it explains to Ralph what Wi-Fi is. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, again, more lines that he had in the second movie, and then you saw him towards the end. But if you're not, guys, have not seen the movie, go ahead and watch it. Um, it was better than the first one, I think it was, because it explored the internet and all the uh, different apps and stuff. And then came the last performance 
Actually, no, no, no. I am missing one. Uh, I did not watch the show, but there was a show called OKKO OK uh, on Cartoon Network. They had this 11 minute Sonic special um, where it was Sonic and Tails and KO and all that. And I don't know his name in it, but it was just an episode where Roger was voicing um, Sonic again in this little adventure. And then 2019 was probably. Um, the last time we heard uh, that he was playing Sonic in Team Sonic Racing. Uh, I played Team Sonic Racing as well on this channel, but it's just the fact that it wasn't like anything special. I mean, we haven't had a Sonic Racing game since Sega All-Stars, and I think that was back in 2010 as well, 2009, it was one of them. Uh, but the game basically was like Mario Kart, but with Sonic characters. And unfortunately, it, it did not do well, I don't think. And if you played the story mode, there were not any like CGI cutscenes. It was just like the 2D showing the characters and subtitles and stuff, and then it just got into the races. But that was the last time we heard uh, Roger's Sonic, and then this past Thursday, he announced after 10 years that uh, he's no longer going to be playing Sonic, unfortunately, as well, because he was one of my favorites. But his other performances uh, from different games, so like he played Chris Redfield in Resident Evil 5 and 6, uh, Etziard Toy, I hope I pronounced that right, from Assassin's Creed to Brotherhood and Revelations, uh, voice Captain America in Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, uh, the cartoon show. Uh, I'm just trying to think what else he's, uh, he's been in. He was uh, Ace Barrage in Apex Legends, the Battle Royale. Uh, which is pretty cool. I played a few Apex Legends myself and I thought his voice acting that was brilliant. Um, but yeah, uh, it was meant to be the... I was going to say meant to be. It is the 30th anniversary of Sonic this year as well. Uh, and unfortunately, it was a bad time that... Uh, I don't know if Sega fired him or he just decided to leave. Um, but I don't know if we're going to get a new voice actor. Um, hoping it is... Ben Schwartz, who voiced Sonic in the movie, because he does a really good, decent Sonic voice. Uh, but whoever it is, uh, we have to wish him luck. But Roger was one of a kind. He was the longest uh, voice actor for Sonic as well, I think, at 10 years. And then Jason Griffith was four years, I think. I'm not so sure. But Roger's leaving the legacy behind that uh, I don't think no one else is going to pick up. Um, but we're going to have to wait and see if they do mention anything at the 30th anniversary this year. Uh, but yeah, uh, Roger was one of a kind. He uh, was the best Sonic in my opinion. And I wish him luck in his future endeavours or whatever he's going to do in voice acting. Uh, so yeah, that's about it guys. So thank you for watching this short podcast on episode 1. Uh, hopefully next time I'm going to be joined by a friend to talk anything about Sonic or whatever topics we're going to choose uh, but yeah if you guys did enjoy this first episode on the podcast be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more and let me know what you thought of my first podcast on Sonic Saturdays so until then guys see you next time